Hello, this is Vampire, back with another Eskrima lesson. And uh, this time, what I want to uh, focus on is, I want you guys to start with power, practicing power. It's difficult to do indoors because you want to go uh, 60%. You know, I don't recommend necessarily go 100% because you could, you know, you could kind of hurt yourself physically or put too much uh, stress on the body. But we want to go with at least 60% force, okay? Um, I'm going with 60% because that's what the Lightning Eskrima guys do. And I thought it was a very, very good number and I'm giving credit to, to them. Uh, but power training is to me very important because we want to start with power and then from power you can go to speed, okay? Um, but it's very difficult to go from speed to power. So once you're working on power and you understand the components that give you the power, you could always dial that down, okay? So that's why I start with power first. Don't start with speed first. I made that mistake. Make sure you guys start with power first, okay? And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and get started. The angles of attack, right here, you're just gonna be going one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you see what I'm doing there is I'm just doing the full motion. You could do it one, you could go again and again, two, three, you could do the same motion, boom, boom, and just work on putting in full follow through, see, okay, make sure you do one, full follow through, that's one of the things that you need. Another thing is you need a solid stance to be in balance, okay. So it's not just working on power, it's actually controlling power. You wanna make sure you have a good strong grip, but at the same time, not to where you're flexing your whole arm and you're using arm strength. You wanna be using body mechanics. So I want this to be, I want my arm to be relaxed as much as possible, but still the grip is solid, okay? So these are the things that I'm working on and the next step is I'm gonna start going into combinations. So combinations would be like one, two, and then three, okay? Or I could go three, one, one, okay? So you work on different combinations. The sky is the limit, be creative. And then the next thing is for number three, we wanna add circular motions. Like so. So those are the things that I highly recommend. That's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.